Good morning, everybody. This is Roger and Miguel Custom Paintings. It's me again, Roger. Uh, we're at the same location in Westminster. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to lay out that blue tape to put on top of the baseboard. So when you put your finish on the wall, it doesn't go through and it doesn't leak through on your baseboard and everything's clean and you don't got to spend time finish cleaning it or trying to rub it with the rag. Sorry about that little hitch on my nose. But um, this is what it looks like. So uh, let me try to show you guys. Uh, I put some down already, so let me see if I can get you guys to look at it real good. But that's how it should look. Clean, crisp, just like that. So nothing leaks through. No paint, no drips. Oh, it's coming up right there. Let me hit that down real quick. Uh, make sure the top of your baseboard is really clean. Any dust or anything on top of it will allow the tape not to stick properly. Uh, I'm going to try to show you guys how to put it on. Uh, again, it's all by my phone, so let me try to set my phone up and hopefully you guys can get a good look at the tape and how I do it. All right, give me a second. I think we're all right. Oh, 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 oh. All right. So I'm going to show you guys how to lay this tape down real quick. Hopefully you guys get a good idea of it. It's my phone. But let's check it out. Here we go. So it's the blue tape, the original. We'll just pull the tape on real quick. I'm just going to do a little piece. But the general idea is to lay it on top. So that is the idea right there. Just a little piece. Uh, and that's it. Bring your fingers through it, maybe once or twice. And again, that will help you to not get nothing through on the baseboard when you put the finish. All right. So hopefully you guys got the idea. And I'll try to set another one down again. This is how we do it, real easy, real quick, it's crisp, clean, bring your fingers across it, boom, and we're done. I'll show you guys one more time. You lay it on top. And you move this, you guys see it? Once you have that general idea, this is how it should go. Just like that. And again, rubbing your fingers across it a couple times. And that's it. Hopefully you guys got the idea, but that's how it should look. All right, and then when I get to the paint part, and I'll, I'll show you guys how to do that. It's called, a, it's called a dry brush in. But when I get to that part, I'll show you guys that. So we'll be continuing this little project in a few minutes, all right? It's Sunday and have a good morning.